Hi, I'm Alex Archbold. I've been buying and selling antiques since I was a kid. Over the years, generations of our family have gotten involved in the business, and I'll search just about anywhere I can to find hidden treasures both big and small. I never know what I'll turn up next. It's about exploring new places, seeing new sights, and having fun. And even though sometimes I get over my head, we try and make things a little better along the way. This is Curiosity Inc. Well, good morning, everyone. It is bright and early on a Thursday morning. It's just after uh, 7.30 in the morning. And today I'm headed out um, on the road rather than through a field. Um, to a small town where I've been invited to go look at an estate. There's a bunch of stuff that they want to sell and um, I don't know that we're gonna buy everything but I sure am uh, gonna try and buy some stuff. So follow along with me today as I go dig through a house, try and find some treasures that were left behind in this estate and hopefully we'll get some cool things. So uh, let's go see what we can discover and dig out of basements and bedrooms and wherever else we're gonna go. Uh, today's adventure should be a lot of fun but for me, it's time to hit the highway. Okay, I am just about here. The uh, roads are a little bumpy as you can see. It snowed um, and it is winter. So I'm hoping the trip was worthwhile. It was uh, about a two hour drive to get out here. So we'll see. Go here. So made it here safe and sound. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I did get stuck in the snow for the last half hour, but we did make it. Got the car out. And uh, yeah, I guess the, the, the town here, they're uh, catching up on the snow removal, it looks like. It's just like pure ice underneath. But we've got some uh, figurines going back to the 40s. We've got uh, a little piece of pyrite with a gold prospector in it. And lots of little ornaments and stuff. And, uh, and you were saying that some of this stuff was your parents and you're just kind of thinning, thinning the collection out because you're thinking of a move right now. Yeah. That's an interesting, very German looking. It's like a... Uh, if a cookie jar was a beer stein. Punch bowl. Yeah. And then you got your little cups to go along with it. That's probably got some age to it. Made in Germany. The export market. That's cool. And you've got uh, some stoneware mugs. Hansa beer. Little pocket knives, which are always kind of nice. So um, I noticed that there was some military stuff. And uh, what's the story behind this? This is a shell that's been turned into a... That was given to my dad on his retirement by the Canadian Forces. Canadian Forces, what a big shell that is. And I wonder if it's for putting like a wine bottle in or yeah, something. Yeah, it's a wine holder. Okay, well that, that's or cool. whiskey, they drink a lot of whiskey in the military. And you've got some gems and stones and things yeah, like that. that shelf there is not. That you're keeping that stuff? Yeah, okay. that's my wife's memorial my wife passed away so oh i'm so sure. sorry to hear that and it, well of course we'll leave that um but potentially this that is, shell yeah, everything thing. okay is basically. all right well let's start making a little oh, there's like a little looks like a dutch pipe and nice ashtray. little play and matching ashtray with little uh dutch clogs or clump in there on the side these uh pink glass uh little jars are kind of nice with the lids too that's carnival glass yeah, that would date probably 20s, 30s sort of era. And then you got a nice sort of depression glass kind of um, pitcher up top. Okay, well, I'm going to set this over in the Alex's interested pile, and we'll, we'll see how big we can make this pile today. They go from 800 to 1200 or up. Right. I see you've got all sorts of uh, yeah. badges. So who is in the uh, military aside from your I dad? I bought this at an, all these I got at an auction. Oh, okay. So I got an old flare gun with it, with some shells and. Gotcha. So this all basically was auction stuff. Yeah. Okay. So no family history, nothing Just like that. Like all these are were my dad. Your dad's all patches. Was Your dad's. dad was in the UN. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got some other little pins and stuff here. He was a town councilor, so he traveled all over the country at one time. Okay. And what what are in the little boxes here? Uh, that might just be buttons. Yeah, that's military buttons. Okay. They're quite calm. This yeah. looks like a metal, like what you'd it get was. a metal in. I donated, I, or I, his, uh, all his medals are in a museum. Oh, okay. 
your son wasn't interested in uh, hanging on to your dad's medals and stuff? He can go get them. They're not. Oh, they're just on loan. Yeah. I see. Okay. And that's from uh, when we, he was in Germany, he was stationed with the French and he, he was basically there to play hockey. The Canadians. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's all he did in Germany was play hockey. Play and hockey. All the other, like the Russians, the Germans, everybody. And you would uh, sell some of this military stuff, would yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have a look through and see what there is. A little Calgary Stampede. That was my time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, keep the search going here. F who was in the fire department? I was. Oh, you were? Okay. And then lots of other military patches and stuff in here. Cool. Searching in the basement. Looks like you have a British. This is a British license plate. Nope. Got found that in Portugal. Oh, in Portugal. Oh, okay. They had similar sorts of plates, and uh, I guess, yeah, it's a much, it's a different sort of uh, raised lettering system. Interesting. What kind of car was it on? No idea. Found it in a ditch, basically, on the way to an old Moorish castle. Oh, cool. And you've got a little bit of what, some coins going on in there. Or it's, it looks like uh, foreign money. Yeah. Foreign for me, local for somebody else. Some old sad irons. That's why they call the, uh, or Flatirons, they call the Flatiron Building in New York the Flatiron Building because it's shaped like this. And what's going on in here? Oh, I've got a sword stuck in here. Oh, you got a sword. Oh, yeah, and I saw, th what's the story with the swords? My, they came from Germany. I don't oh, know. Oh, your dad brought them back? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got a nice uh, construction helmet. Lifesaver award. It's like a, I guess it's plastic. It wouldn't really keep you all that safe. It's chrome plated though. Valentine's scotch serving tray, and you got some cutlery and stuff in there. So you got just a little bit of everything, yeah. Now, whether those are decorative. I think they were. I don't know though. Yeah, they look like they, uh, they don't really have much of an edge on them. Somebody's been. Whacking at them, they can see there's little marks in the blade yeah, there. That was sword fights. Oh yeah, sure. Why not? You leave a kid to their own devices and uh, leave a couple swords around your band. It's only a matter of time till you start whacking them into each other. And you got a practice bomb. Yeah. You try hitting it with the hammer, see if it's. Uh... It's diffused. <laughs> I say that as the the end goes in, like I set off a bomb in your house. Little Medelta Croc, number one size. It's got the lid though, which is nice. And you got a little assortment of, uh, oh, you got a mace up here. That's brutal. It's like actual, it's a real mace. <laughs> What's the story on this? From Germany, that's all I know about it. From Germany. And then. That's a reproduction. A reproduction pistol. Kind of cool though. Like for a decorative piece. Yeah, you can see that barrel is not a real barrel but made to look like a flintlock anyway. Sometimes you go in people's houses and they've got the real thing sitting there. It's always good to poke around and ask questions and look. Tiny little sword, a little letter, letter, letter opener. opener. Zwa! You could be like Zorro. Cool. So you got a little spinning wheel here. You said that needs a new nail, but that's pretty easy to fix. And then Got the uh, original Return of the Jedi portfolio. And you said, the, were these up on your bedroom wall when you were a kid? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, there's um, Hummel figurines and Smurfs and tea carts. And so you got a lot of stuff down here. But I'm excited to hear that you also have piles of stuff in the garage. So there's these little kind of gems all over the place here. Well, again, thanks for uh, letting me come out and have a look around your place today. Did you take fencing? No. My dad just collected them. I think he likes swords. Thought they were cool. Well, your dad was a military guy. I'm sure he thought this stuff was interesting. But yeah, there's a few fencing swords. No masks, hey? And you got uh, the old washing machine here. Apparently my dad's hand went through one of these and was not a great thing to have happen. But you, this is how you'd have to do your laundry. You'd crank that crank and make the tub agitate back and forth oh, Schwinn bicycle little chairs have a little poke around see what there is to see 
Okay, I got everything loaded up. Now it's just a matter of getting myself back home and we'll dig through the boxes and see what there is. Okay, I got home with the box of goodies that I found today. Now, this is one thing. I don't know if I showed this on camera or not. Uh, he said his neighbor actually gave him these. He said, yeah, they're just old army toys, but they're actually 1950s dinky. This is like when people call a toy a dinky toy and it's a Hot Wheel or whatever. The expression, the term comes from these toys, which are actually labeled as being manufactured by the dinky company, which was part of Meccano. See, Meccano Limited. Um, so that tank actually goes with that. Luckily, the barrel's not damaged on it. And so a lot of times these rubber tracks are missing. So that's pretty cool. It has those. So let's see how many of these little army trucks I was able to get. That's a matchbox. A lot of them are uh, dinky or corgi, mostly dinky from the looks of things. And that's good because these are the slightly more collectible. And that I think, no, that doesn't go there. That's the back off of one of these. Pretty good variety. Um, this one's missing a couple tires, but I think I actually have a spare box of tires upstairs. Before this video is over, I'll go dig around and look and see. There's some slightly newer ones in here too. And there's, that's Corgi, I think. Yeah, it's Corgi. So that's another little tank hauler or hauler there. We got the ambulance with its doors. So pretty good little variety here. I shouldn't say little variety. That's actually quite a few vehicles and most of them in uh, decent condition. That's Britain's. That's Corgi. You can always tell the difference between a Corgi and a dinky toy. This looks like it is the back off of that, I think but it's uh, the rivets pop through, so it needs some TLC, but uh, at least the part was there. Okay, and look, I even got a red bucket. It's $1.50 of my money back right there. So a whole bunch of old 50s dinky military toys, which are pretty neat. Um, this, when we went in the garage and I was walking out the door, I saw this there, it's uh, but like 1950s Pioneer Chainsaw thermometer and um yeah it's it's painted metal with the graphics on it really cool piece and um, i brought in some turtle wax i'm going to polish it up and see if i can get that uh color back on that a bit we'll do that in a minute the license plate of course i thought that was cool you never know when you're gonna end up with a weird european car that needs it this like the world's biggest pipe <laughs> uh it's a german made pipe hand carved and uh there was two of them there's the big the, the daddy size and then the, the junior size that one actually has the, the tip on it so some novelty sort of european pipes there, uh, there's a lucien picard watch which are okay uh, they're decent quality watches uh, this one's a little bit on the newer side it's right here and it is a what they call like a skeleton watch uh, and it's an automatic so kind of a kind of neat. I mean, not a particularly expensive watch, but still kind of cool. Uh, of course, the this wouldn't be really considered trench art because it wasn't made in a trench, but it is um, of that ilk. And this is a presentation piece who, to his dad, who was um, it, his name's right there, and it's uh, from his uh, service battalion that he was with with the United Nations. So that was like a little gift they, they gave him to keep his wine in and kind of a cool thing. I mean, that's a big chunk of brass that they use for those artillery shells. Of course, um, got the pin. There was a whole bunch of these sort of little lapel pins. Pick those up. The military pins, the hockey pin, the French uh, Montreal Canadiens pin. And all of these little uh, military badges, which uh, he said he got at an auction sale. So, uh, but there's Calgary Regiment. Some of these are actually pretty neat. Um, some are World War One, in fact, with cat badges. So, actually some pretty neat stuff in there. Fort Gary horses. Um, this was in the box too, Indian motorcycle 
Matchbook, the Hindi manufacturing company. And it's got the striker and it still even has a couple of the wooden matches in there. I've not seen this before, so I really don't know much about it. But I figured um, even if it was a slightly newer thing, I think it is actually probably from the 40s, judging from the fact that there's no copyright, no, you know, nothing to indicate that it's slightly newer. Um, just kind of a cool little novelty piece and more cat badges and things. So lots of neat stuff there. Um, I did get the Return of the Jedi portfolio, which I found in his basement. And this is all basically like posters. It's art from the movie. So this would have been, you know, art that they did when they were putting the scenes together. And uh, just really kind of cool. Magnificent production paintings from the fabulous space epic. Yeah. So that was neat. Uh, they also sold, used to sell blueprint sets too. Um, this was his dad's ID card. Um, why? He didn't want this. But his dad was... Um, uh, what was he now, uh, with National Defense and worked the Olympic Games. So that's his Olympic pass as a uh, defense, um, a member of the defense. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, the practice bomb. So some military stuff, some, uh, you know, practice bomb with all its bits and pieces are all intact there. Just kind of an interesting little variety of stuff. And uh, I wasn't sure if I'd find anything when I first went and I ended up finding a bunch. But let me, uh, let me get the wax out and we'll see if we can shine this Pioneer sign up just a little bit. Well, it's a little shinier. I bet if I work at it a bit more, we'll get that gloss back. But we're nearly there. So somebody will think that's cool. Nice old advertising thermometer that it is. Oh, I almost forgot to grab the tire for the dinky toy. Sometimes I keep random toy parts aside, and there we go. That's the type of tire that we're looking for. So I'm sure I got a couple in here. We can get those on and make that truck a little bit more complete. Well, in all, I'd say that's a pretty interesting assortment of stuff. Kind of a military theme today. I'd say uh, my favorite pieces out of this collection today um would be probably the military the hat pins you know there's some really interesting ones here like um this looks like a mechanized like the side profile of a very early tank um i'll have to do some research on some of these and and figure out uh, what era they are but i'm thinking world war one and early world war two usually when you see wings that denotes um air force but i'm not familiar with that badge so some really interesting little oddities in there for the uh Indian motorcycle matchbook, and then all the dinky toys and little bits and pieces. A pretty good find. Um, so now starts the uh, fun part of trying to get this all inventoried and sold off. So thanks for watching today's episode, guys. Um, I'd say it was definitely worth the trip. It was nice to get out of town and nice to go see some new people that I haven't met before and come back with some stuff that was sitting in a basement and we can get this back in the hands of collectors. So guys, tune in for more episodes. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and we will see you all soon. Bye for now.